No, I don't think that had anything to do with <laughs> landing the part in Frasier, which, by the way, I love playing. I had so much fun. That was my first ever taste of half-hour comedy um, because I did that before I did my quite brief appearance in uh, Ricky Gervais' Extras. This is really unnerving, me saying that. I mean, what makes me wonder is, did I ever know this? Or have I just forgotten it? I hope that I never knew it. They, they, they kept it secret. Darn. Um, anyway, that's all I can tell you. I hope there are no more questions like that. And please don't ask me what warp speed is, because I haven't got it. <laughs> I never knew what it was. I remember telling somebody that you couldn't do it on the freeway. <laughs> and that's about as far as it went. Uh, I was hoping that you could clarify some information that Mr. Brent Spiner shared. And, uh, this is uh, just regarding the storyline for Star Trek Nemesis, the last movie that you all did. And the first uh, storyline was rejected by the studio, and that involved like duplicates of everybody, including you know a duplicate of the card, duplicate data, etc. The second storyline they came up with, you rejected, and that was that Shinzon, the character played by Tom Hardy, was actually uh, Picard's son, his long lost son that he uh, you know had thought he lost and grieved for. But, you know, Mr. Spider said that you didn't like the storyline of the long-lost son for Picard, and you rejected it. I was just hoping you could shed some light on why the storyline didn't appeal to you. <laughs> this is really awkward. <laughs> Brett's not here, is he? No. Yes. <laughs> he's, not, he's not out there anywhere, is he? If you see him, yeah. the, the thing is, Brent, he's unreliable. <laughs> what can I say? He just makes this stuff up. <laughs> I have no recollection of <laughs> You're going to get so sick of hearing that. I have no recollection of the studio turning down one story or Patrick Stewart turning down one story. None whatsoever. Um, as far as I can recall, Shinzong was always a clone. Am I not right? He was a clone. Yeah, he was a clone. I don't think there was ever any indication that he was my son. I mean, I think that was just fan wishful thinking, wasn't it? Mr. Spire did, uh, you know, explain all the versions on stage once, and uh, he and John Logan did come up with these different versions. Did John Logan explain all this? Uh, no, but can I suggest that you ask John Logan? <laughs> I mean, you know, Brent loves controversy more than anything. <laughs> Stirring the pot. Well, I will be seeing him later. So we'll have it out. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, uh, well, this is the final question. So I guess if I make a fool of myself, I can just go off. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> made and a young person here has a question for me. I'm listening. How was it working with the people in X-Men? Uh, are you an X-Men fan? Really? That's fantastic. They're good movies, aren't they? Great stories. That's um, 
in many respects, it's, it's been like next generation. I've always been a company person. I've always liked working with groups of actors and directors and writers over a period of time. It's why I stayed with the Royal Shakespeare Company for 16, 17 years. Um, they're a fantastic group of people. And I include the original X-Men cast, and of course now that we have all these new, younger, glamorous <laughs> X-Men. This, um, this has been lovely. I, I want to thank Adam and Creation for letting me come here today. Um, I came here, it was my own request. Um, I've always loved coming to Las Vegas. The audiences are incredible.